Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the review of the Logitech GPRO X Superlight 2 Dex. So I have been using this mouse for the past two weeks, um, mainly in Counter-Strike 2. I've been grinding Premiere for the past week, and I think I've put around 40 hours in Premiere using this mouse. I've been testing how the mouse feels, does it perform well, um, the coatings, the clicks, the tech, and how the shape compares to the um, original GPRO X Superlight 2. So I have been using them uh, on and off. So I would use uh, Dex for the first half, Superlight 2 for the second half, or even switch after each round. So if I die, I will switch the mouse every time I die. So just to get a better feel of which one of these are better for me, and it might be for you also. Uh, and I've figured out that these two mice are for different people with different sensitivity and different hand sizes. And I'll discuss all of my findings from this past week with the Logitech GPR X Super Light 2 Dex. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's cover the shape and the weight. So this is an ergonomic shape of the Super Light 2. And personally, this is a very comfortable shape for me. I think the shape is for uh, people who want something very comfortable to lay their hands on when they have, I would say small to medium sized hands, but it also works with large hands depending on your grip. So if you have small hands, you have to palm it. So small hands would be like anything under 17 by eight or 17 by nine. So if I have smaller hands, I definitely see myself palming this mouse. And in order to palm it, you need a low sensitivity. So I wouldn't suggest high sense palm grip. So if you have a small hands, palm grip and low sense, this is a very, very comfortable mouse and very, very comfortable shape. And I would definitely recommend. And if you have medium hand size, so I have 18 by 10 centimeter hands and I predominantly use a claw grip. I think this can still be comfortable, but um, I would suggest to still have that low sensitivity just because it's a bigger shape. And if you have um, very high sense, it's hard to micro adjust with this shape just because of how large it is. So if you have medium to large hands, I would recommend claw or a hybrid palm, um, palm claw with a low sensitivity. So if you have a high sensitivity with large hands um, or medium sized hands, I wouldn't recommend, I would recommend something smaller just because of how difficult it is to micro adjust uh, with the shape being so big. But I would definitely recommend if you um, play games for 10 hours, eight to 10 hours a day, if you're grinding nonstop, it's a very, very comfortable shape for your hands. Just lay perfectly on top of it every time and you don't get any hand cramps over long gaming sessions. So if you get hand cramps with smaller mice or ambidextrous mice, I would definitely recommend you to give this a try. Now let's talk about the weight of this mouse. This mouse without the bottom puck comes in at 57 grams on my scale, which is two grams lighter than the Logitech GPR X Super Light 2. But this two gram is very, very significant just because of how large this mouse is in terms of volume. So because this is such a large shape and it being 57 grams, it, the mouse itself feels very hollow and not very dense. So the weight is distributed amongst a larger volume, therefore makes this mouse feel even lighter than it is. So on the scale, it might say 57, but in hand, it feels like a 50 gram mouse just because of the volume to weight ratio. And compared to the Superlight 2, this mouse without the bottom puck comes at 59 grams on my scale. And because of the smaller shape and the smaller volume to weight ratio, this mouse definitely feels way heavier than the Superlight 2 Dex. So even though there's only a two grams of difference on scale, it is very, very noticeable in hand, which makes this mouse very comfortable for aim trainers. So if you're doing constant flicks in aim bots or aim trainers, this is a very, very comfortable mouse and it will definitely not tire out your wrist or your forehand, um, especially if you have somewhat of a medium to high sense. Uh, if you're doing a lot of flick shots scenarios, I would recommend this mouse because just of how comfortable the shape is and how light it feels in hand because of the larger volume and the um, larger volume to weight ratio. Now let's talk about the buttons and the clicks. So far I've had no issues with the clicks, the main clicks and the side button clicks. I mainly just been playing Counter-Strike, so I'm not spamming it too much. I'm only single clicking and kind of burst firing. I don't even like to spread too much in game. 
So for that reason, the clicks have been wonderful. I like the heavier and crisper clicks for FPS games. So for Valorant and Counter-Strike 2, I much prefer crispier and heavier clicks um, that I won't misclick that as often compared to something very light and very spammable where uh, if I'm holding an angle with an op, I might misclick just because of how light the switches are. So I prefer the crispier and heavier clicks from the Logitech mouse for first person shooter. And the clicks are definitely um, a little quieter than the GPX-2. The GPX-2 have very, very loud clicks, um, but I personally like it. I like the very crispy and loud sensation of these clicks. It gives me a very nice feedback while I'm gaming. And these are a little bit mute uh, compared to the Superlight 2, but the actuation force and weight feels uh, around the same. I couldn't really tell a the difference. They feel, they feel around the same weight to actuate the mouse. And I've also been using my Superlight 2 for a long time, so these buttons are, these clicks, these main clicks are definitely broken in. So take that into consideration. I would say um, the Dex main clicks are very good for FPS games. Now let's talk about the side buttons a little bit. Yes, these side buttons are a little mushy, but uh, I had no trouble with these side buttons while in-game. I have my smokes and flashes in Counter-Strike bounded to the side buttons, and I didn't have any issue activating them, or did I realize these uh, side buttons were very mushy. However, I do um, feel like they could improve the side buttons a little bit, making the post and pre-travel a little less will help the, just the in-hand feel of the side buttons, but I had no trouble with these side buttons while in-game. Now let's talk about the scroll wheel and the scroll wheel click. The scroll wheel and the scroll wheel click is the same as the Super Light 2. Um, I, I had no trouble with the scroll wheel. I have my scroll wheel binded to jump and scroll wheel click binded to ping in game, which I don't use that often. I know if you use the scroll wheel click buttons a lot, I know there is uh, some kind of a defect that if you release the scroll wheel clicks a little, just a little bit, it will unregister in game but it does not affect me at all because I only play Counter-Strike on Valorant and I barely use the uh, scroll wheel click button. But however, if you do use the scroll wheel click a lot, I wouldn't recommend getting this mouse. And now let's talk about the feet. So I've been using the stock mouse feet that comes with the GPRX Superlight 2 Dex. I know they are very thin and they need a little bit of time to break in. So at first they are a little scratchy on your mouse pad, but after you break them in, at least the x-axis, um, I didn't have any scratch sounds, but the y-axis, I did still have a little bit of scratch noise. But um, they are fine to play with, but they just don't last you a very long time. So I would definitely recommend swapping them out for something like a core pads, which is what I have on my Superlight 2. Uh, I have the core pads on here and I've had these for a long time. But in terms of the glide, they glide almost the same, the core pads and the stock uh, GPX2 Dex feet after broken in. So if you just want a faster glide, I think these uh, mouse feeds are fine, but if you want longevity, then I would definitely recommend you to swap them out. And I wanted to mention that the mouse feet for the Superlight 2 does not fit on the Superlight 2 Dex, so you will have to wait for brand new uh, core pads for the Dex specifically to come out to be able to use them. And I wanna talk about the coating a little bit. Uh, I have very, very, very sweaty hands and I sweat a lot on gaming. So these coatings are very well. I don't need any grip tape or nothing. I never lose control of the mouse. Doesn't matter how much I'm sweating. So these coatings are definitely very, very good. And this is the same coating on the Superlight 2. So it is the same exact feeling and same exact coating as the Superlight 2 on the Dex. Now I wanna talk more about the in-hand feel and in-game performance. Uh, as I've mentioned, I've been grinding CS2 Premiere for the past week especially on stream, and I have had no issue with this mouse, but I still prefer the Superlight 2 over the Dex uh, for in-game scenarios, just because of my sensitivity and hand size. My hand size wasn't a big problem for the Dex, but I wish the Dex was a little bit bigger or my hands are a little smaller, then I would be able to utilize a full palm grip with this mouse. However, with my 18 by 10 centimeter hands, I can't fully utilize a palm grip. I have to kind of claw it because of how um, short the mouse is compared to the length of my hands. And with my sensitivity, which is 1600 DPI and 0.64 in game sense, which is 1028 EDPI in Counter-Strike, I feel like um, 
The Superlight 2 just provides a little bit more micro adjustment capabilities compared to the Dex just because of the large shape. But however, if I had a slower sense, I would definitely pick the Dex over the Superlight 2. But because of my medium to high sense, I still prefer the Superlight 2 which it gives me more control, especially over long range gunfights. So if I'm taking a fight in game over a long distance, the Super Light 2 gives me that micro adjustment capabilities just because of the narrower width and the smaller footprint of the mouse. Compared to the Dex, which gives me a lot of comfort while I'm holding angles, but it's lacking in micro adjustments just because of the shape of the mouse that is wider and it's a little bit bulkier. However, it does feel very light in hand, so it kind of loses that stability when micro adjusting. But if I'm holding an angle for a long time, the stability of this mouse is very, very good. I just wouldn't recommend for micro adjustments, especially when you have a medium to high sense. And that is it for the review of the Superlight 2 Dex. This mouse is for medium to large and small hands if you palm or claw the mouse and if you have medium to lower sensitivity. I wouldn't recommend it for a super high sense player unless you have super large hands. I also wouldn't recommend small hands with high sensitivity. As long as you have a medium to low sensitivity and you use a palm or a claw grip, I think this mouse is very, very comfortable and it performs very well in game. But because of my medium to high sense and my 18 by 10 hands with a claw grip, moving forward, I think I will be sticking to the Super Light 2 just because of the micro adjustment capability that it provides me in game, I will be keeping the Superlight 2 decks around for an ergonomic alternative to the Superlight 2. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 1000 subscribers. And if you could hit that milestone, it would be amazing. And if you wanna purchase the mouse or any other peripherals that I've mentioned in this video, please check out the links in the description. And I appreciate your support. See you next time, peace.